Hey guys, this is my consecutive video where I'm talking about the wireless mic. And today I'm going to be talking about Nikon wireless mic, which is based on Bluetooth and works very efficiently. Uh, well, this was introduced about a year ago, and um, in my initial phase, I didn't really use it, but in the later stage, I've been using it a lot. And honestly, this has impressed me to a very large degree. Yes, uh, like you see, these pair, they're very well made. Uh, it's a solid body made up of a hard plastic, gives you a rich feel out here. And this requires a AAA size battery to power on. It fits it snug and company claims it to be a water resistant device. I have not really tested it, but I will do so. And once I figure it out, I will be able to comment on my section. Uh, obviously, for any wireless mic, one needs to be a microphone, the other needs to be a receiver. And that's what we have it here. As far as the make of both these devices are concerned, they are 100% the same from all the sides and corners. Yes, there's no difference. This is the microphone, has got a headphone jack for you to plug in your headset and check the volume level. Here you can ex attach an external mic if you're not very happy with the inbuilt mic that they have it. I have personally used the inbuilt mic. I have found it very sensitive and it is very much prone uh, to the wind sound. So I would strongly recommend that you use your one of your external mic to capture sound here. But if you don't have so, no problem. You can still do a wonderful job with the inbuilt mic. As far as receiver is concerned, uh, it again has two jacks. One is for the headphone jack. Uh, this basically a stereo pin goes in like this here and the other side goes in to your recording device. In this probably you can use your camera or probably any of the audio devices which is meant to record your sound. Uh, you might be wondering why do we have a mic here when it is a receiver? Well, this device allows you to make sound. Yes, for example, if this microphone has been used by a person standing about 50 feet away, uh, you can still have a mic attached to this receiver and record the sound of the cameraman itself. So you can mix sounds only if you want to, otherwise generally if you don't want to, the choice is yours. Both the settings are available in the devices and you can choose what audio needs to be captured. Three buttons, three dedicated buttons, on and off, press and hold to switch it on, volume up and volume down. This is nothing but the volume level, the decibel sound that it's going to throw from the microphone, right? It has got about 15 volume levels. Um, I generally keep it to about five and six because that is a sufficient sound that I needed to throw it to any of the recording device or to one of my cell phones or camera. Both these devices are very user friendly. All you need to do is press and hold the button, the blue light turns on, press and hold the button, the blue light turns on. Once both stop blinking, which means they're paired to each other, you don't really have to manually do the job, they do it automatically. And once they are paired, you can start using it as your wireless mic. I am sure now you're very curious to know what is the range of this device. Well, surprisingly, this offers you a range of about 50 meters which is about 164 feet. That is five times more than what your cell phone has to offer you. Yes, uh, I have tried and tested this before, uh, but for this video's sake, I'm gonna run a quick test right now. All right, I'm on the field now just to test the range of this microphone. And this is in my hand. The receiver end is attached with the camera and the microphone is with me. This tap probably will confirm <laughs> that uh, it is functional and it is capturing the sound. Now I'm going to walk the distance. Like I said, this has got a range of about 50 meters. And I have put in a milestone there which shows me this is 50 meters. So I'm going to be walking there. Not very sure if the camera is capturing my sound or not. While there is a lot of wind around, uh, I'm sure the mic is capturing the wind sound. And when I turn around, The moment I face it, the, when the microphone and the receiver are in direct contact, that's when the voice is much clearer. Now, this is the 100 meter distance that I've covered. I'm not very sure whether I'm putting in the frame or not, and whether my sound is captured and recorded clear. But now I'm going to walk, and obviously, uh, during post production, I'll be able to realize whether it has even recorded the sound or not. 
Uh, as far as quality of the sound is concerned, uh, it is up to you to decide. Like I have said earlier, the microphone is very sensitive and generally captures a lot of background sound, even the wind sound, right? What I'm going to quickly do is, uh, I've got, I'm, I'll be using uh, this external microphone and this is a lavenier microphone. I've attached it and my sound now is captured by the microphone using the transmitter and receiver. Uh, hopefully this sound should be much clearer than my earlier sound which was captured by the Nikon inbuilt mic. Well it is up to you to decide uh, which sound is clear and it, it is completely on your preference uh, what you want to use it and what you don't want to use it. Well it was my duty to give you the insides out of each and every device and hopefully you like this channel and if you have liked this channel do subscribe to it if it is helping you by any bit. Thank you.